Go stand right there. Stay there. For what reason? You will not obstruct this investigation. How am I obstructing? Right you're on my property, and at this point, you're trespassing, and I'm asking you to leave. Don't answer their questions, babe. Right, For what reason? Obstruction. Obstruction. All right, folks, welcome back. This guy gets arrested on his own property for not complying with unlawful orders by police. When cops are given a gun and a badge and they're told they have control over a free people, the end of freedom has found its way to America. Cops have this mentality that if you're not doing anything wrong, you should just comply. But what happens when police give you unlawful orders? Should the people just comply then? Not everyone wants to go through legal proceedings. People just want to be left alone. Sadly, people don't know how to leave the cops out of it. Neighbors are always calling police on each other. In this video, there was a dispute between neighbors. Cops get called, and they arrest the one person that was stopping the fight. I'm going to drop the original channel link for you guys to go subscribe and show support. going on here they just pulled in like the gang went for some reason so what's going on you tell us i don't know uh you guys just pulled in like the gangland i'm trying to figure that out uh they've been here twice uh you need to pat me down uh terry stop or something you can pat me down ma'am for your own safety i understand this is a free country you're on my property right here she just told him to keep his hand out of his pocket First of all, this man is on his property. Secondly, he's not a suspect of any kind. All he did was ask a question. Immediately, the female cop begins to throw her weight around. She wants to crush any and all freedom that stands in her way. Some cops think they can just show up to a call and demand everyone where to stand and what to say. This female cop is a problem and will more than likely be named in a lawsuit if she hasn't already. Know what I mean? The male cop is just standing there unafraid of the man with the camera he doesn't have an angry demeanor about him check this out so don't well, we got to you want to pat me down for your safety you do you feel unsafe officer I know. I know because she apparently does you got your hand on your gun get your hand off your gun get your hand off your gun why why is your hand on your gun well it looks like it to me you over here like john wayne you guys coming to my house i don't know what's going on here you come over and tell me get my hand out my pocket Earlier today, you already know there was a. a, a I, was, I was not here. I just earlier to today, she attacked a, my wife in front of like four other people, and my wife defended herself. They, she never hit her back. That woman pulled my okay, wife's hair and kicked her in the house. Okay, we need to speak. To okay, but that incident was earlier. That has I nothing mean, to do with what's going on here. Okay. I can get my wife, ma'am. Go stand right there. Stay there. For what reason? You will not obstruct this investigation. How am I obstructing? Right you're on my property, and at this point, you're trespassing, and I'm asking you to leave. Ma'am, you can leave my property anytime. At this point, you're trespassing. We don't require your services here. No, we're not. Yeah, actually, you are. No, we're not. Okay, then what? what is the need to go to my house and knock on my door? Here. You need to stay right here. Okay. And what law is that? Do you Are you detaining me for, for something? I will if you walk up over there. For what crime? At this point, the cops haven't told him what he's being detained for. He's been asking them, but they decide to ignore his questions, bypass his authority on his property, and now they're threatening to arrest him if he moves around freely on his property. They have no warrant. He's now asking them to leave his property. It gets worse. You We're investigating. Okay, and, and that's okay. your job to investigate. Okay, okay. so you can... Ma'am, there's nobody home. You can go away now. I'm here if you'd like to talk to me. You're knocking on my door. You just lied and said she was in. No, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. There's no... Do you have a warrant or do you have a reason for her to open that door? Because she's not going to. Yeah, do not open the door. 
I'm recording from a safe distance of 20 feet. Like I said, if you walk up there, You guys are obstructing I was, I was my rights right now. Okay, walk up there and I will... I mean, are, you, are you threatening me now for some reason? Like I said, you will be Is the camera obstructing you? you can record. I'm recording. This is my First Amendment right. That's fine. And right now you're violating my Fourth You're Amendment right. Uh, Don't answer their questions, babe. I put him in cuffs. For what reason? Obstruction. Obstruction. That's my First no. Amendment right. Alright. I want everybody's car because I'm not obstructing all my own car. Right 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 my wife doesn't have a screen <laughs> here. Nine, five, twenty, 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 do you know about when? Two years ago. About when? Two years ago. I don't know. All I know, she has a lawsuit. Against the person she was in the wreck with? Yeah. Yes. Can you stand the court case? Absolutely. I got you! Just a minute. Uh, let me talk to you real quick, ma'am. 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 Come back up right there. Ma'am, back up. You can record me all you want, okay? Hi. Hi, I'm trying to record my husband. Okay, fantastic. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, yes, yeah, she walked outside. I've got it all recorded before she was in the house. She had talking to me to her kids. Okay. And uh, she came outside, thought, tried to throw a cup of coffee in my face. I pushed her hand away. She, me and her went at it in the yard. My brother and my husband pulled us apart. She called 911. Okay, what started all that? Uh, her yelling at my son. And then me getting on to her son for the same thing. She said I didn't have the right to say nothing to her son. Okay, so the kids were playing and... I was standing outside. My brother and my sister-in-law and their kids and everybody was here and witnessed it. Okay, so they're playing outside and she got on to your son and then you got on to her. For her son for doing the exact same thing. Okay. And she, her son went in the house telling her she wasn't out here. Okay. She went in the, he went in the house telling her that I got up in his face and all this other stuff. Okay. And so she came outside, got this clip. Okay. So, after all that happened, she pushes you and then you jump on top of her? No, she pushes it. No, she goes to throw the cup of coffee at me. Okay. And I lean back and hit the car and come back up. I She goes to grab my hair. I block. She grabs my hair, grabs it around, and we flip over in the grass over there. And then my brother and husband both jump on us. Did somebody possibly record that? No. Yeah, so, That's what I asked the kids. Why didn't you record the most important part of it? Well, that would have been nice, but we'll, we'll work around that. So, who is she to you? She is my best friend of 12 years. Okay. And she's here from Tennessee? Yes. And her kids here? Yes. Well, is that going to be a problem? Well, it depends. Y'all are now taking my husband to jail for and violating his rights. So, I don't know. Well, well, right now, I, I don't want to, to speak to y'all anymore without an attorney present because I don't trust y'all. Y'all just put my husband in handcuffs for nothing. I didn't do nothing. I went in the back of the ambulance, talked to her, and I'm coming out to get your side of the story. But well, we've already dealt with this for three hours earlier. Oh, well, I don't. I wasn't here then either, so I'm kind of brand new at this. All right, well, I'm going back in. Hold on. I heard kids say, ma'am. Hey. I heard kids say. Hey. Touch me! All right, folks, let me read to you what it says in the description of her videos. On May 8, 2022, I had an interesting encounter with the Brunswick, Georgia Police Department. This is a perfect example of the lack of training that causes a major divide between we the people and law enforcement. In this video, my First, Fourth, and Fifth Amendment rights were violated. But you decide for yourself if I was arrested for exercising my rights or if I actually obstructed justice. Doesn't obstruction require a physical act? Simply advising my wife not to answer questions was the final straw that triggers Sergeant K. Sparks. Pay attention to the beginning. 
the unlawful directives by the sergeant, a.k.a. manager, and the zombie order followers, the outward disdain on display by these tyrants for anyone exercising their rights without blindly following unlawful directives, is disgusting. The Constitution and their oaths mean nothing. Sergeant Catherine Sparks is the lady giving all the unlawful directives. Officer Thomas is flanking me most of the video. The other lady seen marching across the lawn is an unknown corporal. In our opinion, the only ones being aggressive and unprofessional were the cops. They took the investigation and turned it into a circus. Anyhow, this family has set up a donation link to help them through this situation. If you can help them, we'll include that in the description as well as their channel link. Thank y'all for watching. See you next time.